Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna make some off-grid coffee using my stainless steel wood gas stove and my six cup percolator mocha. If you drink a lot of coffee like me, this setup is perfect to make an off-grid or a camping cup of coffee that has plenty of caffeine in it, plenty of coffee flavor, but doesn't have a whole lot of liquid. Before I make this cup of coffee, let me tell you a little bit about this wood gas stove. This wood gas stove burns both wood and alcohol. I have also used both paper from my shredder and sticks and twigs that I find out in my campsite. Here I have the base set up and the next thing I'm going to put in is actually hollow on the sides and what happens is air comes from the bottom and it goes up through the hollow portion of the top and comes out of the little holes in the top. The wood sits inside of the little diamond shaped tray. Finally, I will set the pot supporter on top and this is where we will later set the espresso maker when we make our coffee. As you can see, setup is not very difficult and it's not a very complicated system. Before we get to making the coffee, I'll set, I'll put this away. Start by taking off the pot supporter, then I'll take off the stove base plate, then I'll try to put that in the stove chamber, make sure I get that in the correct orientation. Then finally, I'll put the bottom vents on, put the pot supporter back in, and put the the grill barbecue grid on and put it back in its bag. Every time I use this stove, I'm able to actually put it back in this bag within about an hour or two after using it. So if you do plan to use this system while you're camping, make sure you do have time for it to cool before you put it away. If you are interested in getting a stove like this, I have posted the link in the description. That link is for Amazon and it's not a very expensive stove and it's fun to sit around and use. I've went ahead and set it up, got the fire started. I started this one with some cardboard and then as you can see I'm using the wood pellets. I do like the wood pellets because they burn very efficiently and a giant bag at like a tractor supply or maybe even Walmart is only like five dollars so a giant bag of those will last you quite a while. This is kind of where the art of starting the fire comes into play. As that gets going I'm actually going to jump over to another video I had recorded while trying to make this video because I have shot this video twice. The first time I did not get the shot of the coffee coming out and then the second time I did not get the shot of me making the mocha for the coffee. So here I am I've opened up the mocha I'm gonna pour the water into this little pressure valve it's a brass valve you may not see it in this video then I'm gonna put that in Sometimes I don't actually put the coffee holder in until after I put the grains in. And you'll see here why it's a good idea to maybe use a little scoop and scoop the grains into the coffee maker because I do end up spilling a little bit of that here. For reference, I can fit approximately five tablespoons of coffee grains into the six cup mocha. So I was surprised I couldn't fit six into it. But for me, I usually like a four tablespoon of coffee. What kind of grains am I using? You know, I am by no means a coffee snob. So I actually just use something like Folgers or Maxwell House or whatever is, you know, convenient. There's no special flavors or any of that stuff. I cleaned off a little bit of the grains so that as I put the top back on, the seal doesn't have any of grains allowing for any leakage. Some grain, if you let some grains stay there, it will leak a little bit as it's boiling and it is prepared. So here my fire from before is starting to look pretty good. So I'm going to put the mocha on. I usually leave that lid open so that I can see if the water starts to come out. So as the water starts to come out, what I do is just watch it and when it gets to the top, I pull it off. Here the flame looks really good. If you can see the ribs on that flame, that's telling me that the wood gas stove is burning full effect. There's no smoke coming out because it's actually burning in that secondary combustion process, which is, I think, a pretty great process. So here the coffee is starting to come out. It comes out slowly at first 
gets pretty steady, continues to come out, and I'm just watching it. I'm ready to pull it off. I'm actually ready to drink this cup of coffee. And as you can see, the, the flame is burning bright. So right here, you can hear the coffee spraying out. At this point, I'm gonna stop the boiling process, pull it off, check out that flame. Isn't that a beautiful flame right there? I've also posted the link for this percolator in the description on Amazon. Check that out. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me make this coffee. If you like content like this, please subscribe to my channel and be sure to give this a thumbs up and tell me how you make your coffee out in the field. I've got a couple of other ideas and it's a lot of fun to do this kind of stuff. So hopefully I'll see you in the next video.